banging out here, and that's it. It's gonna happen every day. Every
But you came to Harvard and you're doing anything to show me that it's okay. okay. So you're with them. But you, you're you with them. You're with them. You can't take a knee. You can't lock an arm with me. You can't shake my hand. You can't do nothing to show us that you with, you, you with us. You're not doing nothing to show us that what you took an oath to, when you took an oath, that you can't even start with that the knowledge you have to say. Bye-bye, that badge until it leads you to kill somebody else. First, first, let's start with say your name and spell it so we get it right. My name is Elizabeth, E L I Z A B E T H Hamill, H A M M I L. First, go over what was going on here today. So, I want to make it really clear because I feel like a lot of people today were fighting for many reasons, but the, I want to make it really clear that the reason why we're fighting is for equality. We're not fighting for, we are fighting for black lives just as much as Hispanic, just as much as Asian, just as much as any. And I don't want egos and other things to distract us from the real problem, which is that people in any authority, whether it's a cop, army, uh, arm, any armed force, anything like that, they need to have a psych evaluation. We need to know that they can handle the, uh, the responsibility of, having, of being in an authority position and knowing that they have that ability to take the lives away and that they have to be conscious about what they're doing and how they're reacting. Just like the people who are protesting also need to keep in mind that we're not going to get our point across if we're screaming and fighting and arguing because it becomes an ego trip. If we want people to hear us, we need to speak, we need to use our words, we need to have peaceful protests where we don't have to worry about jumping on people's cars and hurting people. And I just want to make it really, really clear to the people of Long Island that we need to be heard. And if we want to be heard, the only way that's going to happen is if we speak our minds. Not if we fight, not if we argue, not if we tell people what they're thinking or how they feel, but if we stand together and try to understand each other try to understand why do you feel the way you are and how we can we change this to make a better tomorrow so. and uh, you were standing there and I saw you kind of pulling people back from getting too crazy yeah um, but talk about that moment when that when that cop kneeled down with you guys I think um, I think the hard part right now with the whole cop thing is that he, apparently he wasn't a real cop apparently he was a state trooper I mean not a state trooper a um, just a, so you know literally a Suffolk County police officer assigned to the parks. He's it's a, all the same, right? Yeah, he, that's what I'm the, saying. He gets the same money, that's he gets what the I'm same thinking. everything. And he, he, that's why he has the, uh, yep, the thing. Yep, he's a Suffolk County exactly. police officer. So what I have to say about that then is that that police officer showed change. I don't care what part of the state police that he's involved in. He is a form of authority. He is a form of police. Him kneeling is a sign that we are starting to move in the right direction. And if we can all learn to kneel and fight for what is right, that is what matters. Equal rights. Not who said, he said, she said. It is beautiful to see that somebody has actually made the effort to show and symbolize, I am here with you, I hear you, I want to be on your side. And who knows, one person can turn into multiple, could turn into everybody, and that's what we're aiming for. We started off with one, we're going to go for more. We're going to make more. We're going to make be louder and make more of a voice so that you can hear what we're saying and you can relate to us because we want to relate to you just like you relate to us. We want to be one. Awesome. Great. I, uh, sorry. Go ahead. 
And I just want to make it like really, really clear. I hope that everybody here really appreciated the restraint that the Suffolk police showed. The Honestly, they were with us. Even though we might not want to believe it, maybe we were in the moment and wanted to say what we had to say, but the reality is they stopped traffic. They stopped people from hurting us. They didn't get physical with us. I, I have appreciation and I hope that other people can see the restraint that they had with us compared to years ago where we would have been in handcuffs. So hopefully we can take that, appreciate it, and keep moving forward in that direction, not in a physically harming direction.